Hi, my name is Matt. Welcome back to the shop. And someone asked a question in the comments what washers are. Obviously, that's the title of the video and what's on the board. It wasn't just a question about what washers are, it was also a question of what is the difference between washers and thrust washers and spacers and so on and so forth. So I've got a little demo, this is, you know, like I say, this is quite simple, but it is a question that's come up, so I will answer it. So a washer, as you may have seen already, is a disc with a hole in it, with an inner and outer diameter, and basically what thrust washers do, and washers do, or thrust bearings, it's all about distributing the pressure or force over a larger area so you don't damage the component. Um, either between a fastening and a component itself or between two components. So I've got a little demo here just to show you. I'm going to bring you in closer so you can see it and uh, we'll take a look at that. So uh, to demonstrate exactly what happens I've just got a block of plywood here with um, two holes in it obviously and we're going to put a fastener in just as is and then we're going to put a washer on the back, but just ignore that for a second. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten the absolute bejesus out of this. And uh, we'll see what happens. So, stick a spanner on the back of that. And give it a tighten. And as you can hear... It's just eating into it. Now I'm using wood because obviously that gives us the best results. So we can see what's happening. And as you can see the fastener's just chewed a counter ball nicely in there and fucks it up. So if we go on the other side and we use a small washer like so, we do the same thing. This is now my new most boring video to watch ever. And we tighten this up. Now it's much harder to do to get the same result. And you could always use the comparison with a torque wrench to make sure you tighten them both the same. But as you can see, that's squished out. The, it's increased the surface area compared to our one before which was obviously the size of the bottom of the bolt and the size of the washer and if we go one further on this example nice fresh clean hole stick a penny washer on it this is probably going to deform the washer more than it's going to deform the wood ah. Jesus wept. So that's really tight now. You can see that there's a it's deformed the washer slightly in the reflection. Same on the back, obviously it's equal forces and all that. But when we undo this you can see that we have an, an indentation but it's not chewed up the hole just like this one had. So, and you can see it's deformed the washer because I really did talk down on that, bloody kids. So, um, all it's done is it's just spread out the pressure over a larger footprint, a larger surface area. And for wood we do use penny washers if you don't want your screws or your fittings to go through wood because wood is obviously really compressible and quite soft. Um, but the same thing applies for your fitting, so you can either have flange bolts where there's actually a washer surface on your bolt head itself but it's just again because you can with steel fittings you can collapse aluminium you can compress it you can basically deform what you're trying to clamp together so penny washers repair washers like this are used for stuff like wood and plastics and what have you um, just to make a really big footprint because you can see the difference between this one with a standard washer and this one with a penny washer um, thrust bearings uh, when you have a washer type surface and the um, component is ramming thrusting in this way so it's not radially 
it's not a, a not radially it's not axial it's not an axial force it's a radial force so you have twisting and that's what you'd need generally like a roller bearing for or a needle roller bearing something like that with thrust washers it's basically just a material that's softer than the two components and it's if there's any smacking together so with a um, con rod and a uh, crankshaft on the main pin for just say two strokes they have copper thrust washers that basically it's just a it's just a, a bearing surface that when you get this clapping side by side this thrusting in um, a direction that's parallel with the shaft in the same direction as the shaft it's basically just a wearable component instead of the two expensive components wearing together and the thrust washers basically just distribute that pressure over a larger area same kind of thing as just talking down when we're talking down we have a compression here but that is a thrusting in this direction perpendicular to the surface and that's that so that's what washers and the difference between washers and thrust washers or washers and thrust bearings is basically they do the same thing, they just distribute the forces over a larger surface area, so you do not mess up your parts. Thrust bearings on the other hand are basically, a, because it's a bearing, it's a removable component. Where washers like this may be part of the actual assembly, a thrust washer is something that you can then replace that's cheaper than the two components that are smacking together. Hope that makes sense and I'll see you in a bit.